that people are playing Valorant. Overwatch 2 will undoubtedly become the big game when it launches, but are we going to be playing this game for a couple weeks or a couple years? Overwatch was a great game. Great game. I put over a thousand hours into Overwatch, okay? That being said, Seven if Overwatch 2 is a couple new maps and some heroes, I will be very disappointed. First, let's talk about the new co -op. Okay, so get ready for disappointment then. What the fuck? From what I can tell, co-op is the primary focus of Overwatch 2. Like I said before, the most interesting part of this game to me is the roster. You have all of these different characters with different play styles, and I think by focusing more on PvE, you can really get more creative with character abilities and making every hero feel broken in their own way. Remember when Overwatch first came out and Roadhog could hook players that were playing on different maps than him? He could throw that dumbass hook around corners and then once he pulled you in, he could just one-shot you. It was hilarious. It was awesome and it was insanely broken. What's nice about PvE is that you can allow characters to be broken and really focus on empowering the player. During BlizzCon, they showed off this new skill tree feature. It seems like the overarching goal of the co op mode is to level up each individual character. And as you level up, you'll get to select talents on the skill tree, like my favorite games, Warcraft and League of Legends. If the talents on the skill tree are some bullshit, like do 10% more headshot damage damage or it move slightly faster, I don't think that is going to motivate anyone to level up. But if it's goofy shit, like this boulder move that Mei has, that is awesome. That makes me want to get Mei to the max level now. The talent they showed for Reinhardt though seemed a lot more subtle. It makes it so his shield heals him when it has over 50% health, which it doesn't sound super exciting, but it does incentivize you to use the shield, and I think this is one of the areas where Blizzard really needs to step it up is practicality. Overwatch 2 needs to be developed around how players actually play Overwatch instead of developing the game around how you're supposed to play. People will naturally gravitate towards the fun part of any game, which is why even in Diamond they still refuse to push the fucking payload. Why won't anyone push the payload? Because it's boring. Why do people on defense always overextend and get caught way out? Because they want to get kills, which is fun to do. The solution isn't to embrace players' selfish instincts, but instead to trick them into playing like a team with selfish rewards. What's pivot? About the only info Blizzard has given us on the new PvP is that tanks are going to be more like DPS, healers are going to be tankier, and DPS are going to be faster. These changes sound like a direct response to roll queue. Hypothetically, let's say it's 7pm. If you want to play a match of Overwatch in roll queue as a DPS character, you can get into a match at about 10pm the next day if you have the fast pass. What's the fast pass? That's the... What the fuck? They have fast passes and shit? Is he joking? I, I haven't played Overwatch in so long. I, I played Overwatch a little bit way, 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 way back in the day. So I... I it was a joke? Oh, okay. Wait, is there really? You get a fast pass for playing tank healer? Wait, it's like the fucking roleplay queue, dude. Your Overwatch account on Battle Net is level two. No, I I played it on. Uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Wait, I, I I played it on PlayStation. I don't know if it like uh, it, it, I don't know if it was the same fucking. Wait, did I play it on PlayStation? Where where did I play Overwatch? Not on stream. Like this was way 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 back in the day. I think I might have played it on PlayStation. It's been so long since I've had a PC that I forgot. Like, I literally fucking forgot that I used to play FPS games exclusively on, on uh, an analog. Like, on a controller. You played it one hour on stream? No, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. Prize you get for playing tank if your PC healer. account is level 2 then you had to have played it on console I think I did yeah how will I see how will I I wonder if I can find what my um, what my fucking PlayStation uh, account looked like for Overwatch 
popular because nobody wants to play those rules. Why not? Because all of the fun characters are DPS, which is also more than half the roster. FastPass is a practical solution to excessive roll queue times, which was in turn a solution to... Uh, can you not be Hanzo, dude? Hanzo, will you please swap? Yeah, I don't know if we need a Hanzo. Could we not have a Widow? Can you not play Bastion so you can kill? It didn't take people a long time to suck all the fun out of Overwatch. It went from being the game with all these unique characters to the game where if you don't pick the one right character, you get yelled at by some weirdo. Make no mistake, there are good characters and characters that are virtually useless, but once people started caring about which characters were good, you saw Overwatch start to collapse. Tracer, she can dash around, her pistols make this cool sound effect, and she can rewind time. Now we make sure. She is one of the most fun, exciting characters in the game. In 6,000 matches of playing Overwatch, I have seen five people do good on Tracer. Overwatch 2 is not- No, it's not showing up. It says no PSN data available for Overwatch for my, P uh, for my PlayStation name. Where did I? Did I, like, imagine that I fucking played Overwatch? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, it is. Wait, is it? Oh, it's because it's private. Yeah. I did. Okay, so I did play it on PlayStation Network. Okay. Okay, guys, stop making fun of me. I was, like, fucking 14 when I got that name. Guys! Literally 14, okay? Shut the fuck up. Hallie boy, Hassan. We are going to believe so hard. Most people know that that's my, um, that's my, like, OG. No, the name, the fucking PlayStation Network name was acquired when I was, like, 14. Okay, the gamer tag is incredibly fucking old. And not only is it incredibly fucking old, but I don't even know. This game came out five years ago, 14. No, guys, w -W guys, Wrestling the fucking Hellboy name, the PlayStation Network name is, is still when I was 14 and just kept it. So. Um, Hellboy Hassan Wicked. Oh, chatters are so dumb. Chatter, chatters are, again, doing that thing where they're like, oh no, it's my stupidity that makes me unable to comprehend the point that you're making, so I'm just going to keep saying, like, you're stupid for my stupidity. I think we have all had a cringe username or gamer tag. Okay. So. Were you a tank main? Be honest. No, I was so much worse. I was, like, I exclusively played with Soldier. Uh, and what else did I play with? Oh, and, uh, what's the fucking, the assassin one again? The, the Reaper. Yeah, Reaper. Reaper is my favorite. And sometimes I would, uh, yeah, Reaper was my, role-playing your name? Yeah, Reaper was my favorite. And, um, and then outside of, like, not the, uh, outside of the, the not fucking, by the way, it's one of the most relatable things ever to have a cringe ass fucking gamer tag that you had to stick, stick with, uh, like to have a cringe ass gamer tag that you have to stick with since you're fucking 14 is literally the most relatable gamer thing that I've ever done. So it's kind of weird that like chatters with fucking, uh, smoke kush 69, uh, type fucking, uh, gamer tags they got back in like 2008 are literally turning around and shitting on me right now. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I, you don't make me pants you. Okay. Let me give you a fucking wedgie, stupid people. Um, so the, uh, the other thing I was going to say is, Oh, the funniest thing is I don't have, I don't know what, year i put down because it was illegal at the time for me to have a fucking psn account i remember so i don't know what age like i don't know what date of birth i put down to this day i don't do not know what date of birth i put down on my playstation network name or, or uh, fucking uh, psn id i just don't know
The second part of my nick means the tip of the penis in Finnish. What? Herska? Um, PSN illegal in Turkey? No, no, no. This was in America. Your account was most likely created at 2006, 2007. Yeah. I, I wonder if there's a way to find that out. I had to recover my Blizz account because I used all false info for when I was like 10 to make it. Yeah. What? Why are you fucking... What the fuck? Why would I look at that? Um, It was either a cringe gamer name or a cringe Hotmail account. Oh yeah, I had a Hotmail account for a very long time too. Um... The other thing I was going to say, what is this? Oh, fucking stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I had MSM Messenger too. Um, oh, fuck, I'm like, I'm, I'm forgetting the thing I was going to say. Hold on. Uh, no, it wasn't Hellboy Assign at Hotmail.com. Uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. You actually can change your PSN ID for free through PlayStation.com. Mine used to be dead monocult because I didn't want to have any numbers in my name. Wait, no. PSN doesn't let you change your name, I don't think. They've never let me change my name. I'm totally forgetting what I was going to say. Were, were RP rooms slash chats on MSM Messenger where you first develop your RP skills? No, I never did that in MSM Messenger. They do now? Oh, really? Like, since when? They must have added it, like, literally last week or some shit. Because I remember a couple months ago I tried to change it, and and I still couldn't, I don't think. Um, There's a late PS4 update? It's been, like, two years, really? I feel like I tried changing it. Anyway, um... These zoomers don't know about AOL chat rooms. I don't. I never did. I, I never did AOL. Uh, the the other the other thing I was gonna say. Did you create your PSN back in the PlayStation two day uh, three days? No, I created my PSN in the PlayStation two days. I'm pretty sure. Not even on the PlayStation three days when PlayStation two had like the first time. I never went online on the PlayStation two though, so I don't think I I might have. Wait, hold on. Let's see. Account Sony Entertainment profile at account details. Really? Let's see. Let's see if I can log in right now. I don't even know if I have the right password. Oh, I do. Okay. All this talk of new emotes and we don't get a Hellboy Hassan emote? Please, Ajahn Prej. I have to one finger it, dude. It's so funny when I'm like, I'm so fucking old, dude. I'm such an old guy. Okay. Uh, Where is it? Where would it show my like transaction history or something? Like, where would it show the details? Chat. All of us third world frogs that are PS2s modified for pirated games and couldn't play online. I don't think there is account settings. I don't think so. I, I, I'm on there right now. All right, let's look at my profile. Oh, wait, I can literally change it. I can literally change my account name now. Five months pog chat is the best Hold hassle. On going to magically balance every character in this game. That's never going to happen. 
there but is Blizzard, no real reason the alphabet seriously? should be in any particular Is this the aura. best you can do? Widowmaker is one of the worst characters in the game. No, no, don't, don't even try to argue. Everybody knows Widowmaker sucks. So here you have this horrible, terrible, unplayable, garbage character called Widowmaker. Six months what does Blizzard do? They give her the worst ultimate in the game. They give the worst character in the game the worst ultimate in the game. Then you have Junkrat, one of the best characters in the game. Here is his ultimate. Fire in the hole! Unbalanced characters are just the tip of the iceberg though. What about Steam Rolls? Multiplayer games are at their best when both teams have a decent chance of winning. How often do you boot up Overwatch, come out of a match and say, damn, that was a good match. Steam Rolls suck ass. They are not fun and they are very frequent. It isn't that's fun the, to obliterate a helpless team and it's especially not fun to get completely dominated by a much better team. I think Roll Queue was Blizzard's attempt to make matches more of a tug of war, but it's really disheartening to sit through that extended queue time just to play a 40 second steamroll match anyway. Nearly every Overwatch match is decided by positioning and timing. Can your team sync up good enough to push? Can you get your flankers and your front line moving in at the same time? If what not, the fuck? This is not all games and apps for PS4, PS3, and PS Vita and other PlayStation consoles support the online ID change feature. If you change your online ID, you may lose access to content, including paid for content that you've acquired for your games, including content like add-ons and virtual currency. You may lose your progress within games, including game save data, leaderboard data, and progress towards trophies. Parts of your games and applications might not function properly, both online and offline. Your previous online IDs may remain visible to you and players in some places. For a list of games tested for online ID feature and some of the most common issues identified from testing, see this page. Your first change is free. You will be charged for subsequent changes. Your online ID must comply with our terms of service. Okay. PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation website is so you broken. Lose. Overwatch 2 needs to give individuals or smaller groups something to accomplish. Maybe set up some side objectives like Heroes of the Storm. This oh my god, chat, it gave me the actual date. Do you want to know? You want to know? All right. Let's get some, uh... Let's get some, uh... Do you want to know when I got it? When I got the ID? Tell us. June 21st, 2007. Keep it up saying my name. Older than some motherfuckers, dude. <laughs> Older than some people in the chat, dude. No, I'm just kidding. It was because a load of PS3 shit was massively tied to the account game. It was a problem for years and it was genuinely a big announcement when they said you could change your name. Yeah, I know. By the way, shouts out to whoever the fuck took the Hasanabi PlayStation Network name. Uh, thank you that I, 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 I just can't have my own name anywhere. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, for the record, I just wanted to say uh, thank God that you did that. Fucking assholes, dude. great way you can alternate between objectives and force teams to move around and adapt instead of X just tunneling through one choke point the entire match. I think you can sidestep a lot of the issues that Overwatch that has fair. with the co-op experience. However, 
people don't seem very excited for co-op. When you say co-op shooter nowadays, people think Destiny, Division, Anthem, Fallout 76. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. But what if I said Overwatch meets Left 4 Dead? See, now you're like, okay, Dunk, go on. The co-op in the original Overwatch was a gimmick. It was something you played once, you went, oh, that was kind of neat, and then you never touched it again. The intensity of the PvP wasn't there. The AI robots felt like they were just spawning in to die. They would just walk to their spot and stand there while you destroyed wave after wave of them. You look at something like Doom. The enemies are so engaging because they're all bouncing around the map in their own way. If you get too close, they'll whack you. If you run away, they'll chase you. Overwatch. The enemies are like big Yoshi. They're just sitting there. In the new Overwatch 2 video, Jeff Watch said, and I quote, Yeah, we know the AI sucks ass, but maybe it won't suck ass. Wait, what the fuck? Hassan Piker PSN played one minute ago, updated one minute ago. Okay, so well, this is not me. I don't know who the fuck this is. No, I didn't change it. Probably someone just changed it. I bet they literally just did it. Yeah, someone in here is just like, ha, huh, lol, I'm gonna Let's get him. Let's fucking go two months. Love you, Hassan. Has boggies, has boggies, has pog. Gotta be, gotta be someone in here. later they're showing all of these different types of enemies it could like be someone flag. with the same name as you no it can't be because my last name is so uncommon like there, there's my last name is like purposely uncommon and the surname uh revolution my my grandfather chose instead of a very common last name that his family had which is bekirolu he decided to modify it so there's literally no other there's not a single other person guy and the bomb doggy and the smoker there's a little clip of lucio blasting robots that's why it literally the sounds wall. they show this badass technology where you can shoot robots into each other you can shoot the legs off of a robot they're saying there's going to be a hundred different co-op missions there's a lot to get excited about and it's getting easier now to imagine the incredible game overwatch 2 could be but what it could be or what it would be jeff watch make your move bye bye So, uh, Piker, that's why it sounds like Western. You know what I mean? That's why it literally sounds fucking Western. I've done my 